goes to you hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you've never watched one of my videos before then i'm glad you're here you should stick around so today i'm coming at you guys with an everyday winter makeup routine i did one of these back in the spring and everyone seemed to really like it and i love that you guys like it um i'm not a total professional beauty guru makeup artist i really only do makeup because i think it's fun and i like doing it and i do think i look a teeny bit better with makeup on but that is not the reason that i solely do it I just think that it's fun and I like trying out different looks and things like that. That's why um, I decided to do another makeup look. So I do this makeup look almost every day for school. It changes out with the lip color and sometimes with the eyeshadow but this is like mainly what I like to do. So um, I hope you guys like this video. Let's get onto the video. Alright so the first thing we're going to be doing is using my Cetaphil moisturizer because everyone knows in the winter your skin gets really dry and it's not cute so I'm just going to be putting some of that on my face my skin's really dry next thing i'm doing is putting on the honey do me up primer it just looks like this and um I got this for christmas last year but typically, I would do the Stay Matte Primer, but um, since your skin is a little, or my skin is a little bit more dry in the winter, then I'm going to use, so I'm going to be using this to kind of give some glowiness back into my face because it kind of died out, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and I also have already washed my hands so I'm not putting a bunch of like unnecessary germs on our face my face I keep forgetting this is like not a tutorial this is my everyday makeup routine not a tutorial so I have two different concealers and that is literally because um I haven't bought a refill of my winter shade all I have that has a lot in it is my like summer shade which is literally one darker it's not even that dark to my skin tone now but what I do is I just put it on some of my blemishes and then I will go back and blend that in with my black um, wonder blender from shop and say this was a dollar it works so good it's so squishy and it works in my opinion, a lot better than the real techniques one. So, so once that is blended in, I'll go back and use my foundation. And the foundation that I use is the Maybelline Fit Me, the uh, Matte and Coreless. And I'm in shade 110. So once I feel like it's blended in pretty good, I'm gonna go back in with my summer shade of concealer which is lighter and this is the um, fit me um, concealer for Maybelline in case I didn't say it already and I'm gonna be putting this under my eyes and places to like highlight you know what I'm saying yeah if you watch a lot of makeup tutorials this is what everybody does literally I have none of this left it's fine
Next I do powder and to set all of that. So I use the um rubbed off. But I use the um, Merlot London Say Matte Powder and this is in transparent. And I use this Real Techniques buffing brush. What I've been doing recently that I've never really done, I always bronze my face but I never contour. Well my sister <laughs> let me use this and this is the e.l.f. contouring bro. I knew I messed up. This is the e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzing cream. It's a cream contour and I use this little like, I think this is an eco tools brush. It's like slanted. Look at me. Yeah, it's slanted. And I just kind of like do a few taps. I, it's gonna look crazy at first, but I go back and I blend it in. So watch, watch this craziness. Okay, so it was like mud on my face. I'm gonna go back over it with a bronzer, but this is the Milani Bait Bronzer in Glow, shade four. And the packaging is really cute. But it just looks like this. It kind of looks like Venus from Mars to me. But yeah, I just go back over it. And then I also warm up my temples and my jawline just a little bit because I am Please tell me you're focusing on me and not my decorations. I have the worst. Someone's calling me. My dad's trying to FaceTime me. Oh, what I was doing. Did I already put product on this? Ugh. Next, I also use this blush from Shop Miss A, and it looks like this, and it's in the shade Cinnamon, and it looks like this. It's kind of orangey, and I use this Tarte blush brush. Saved it. So I literally got so caught up in doing my cheeks and stuff. But I forgot to moisturize my lips. And I normally do, this is vital in the winter time for me. But I usually use the Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit or this Vaseline Rose Lip Therapy. I'm going to use this one because it's got like a Christmas pattern on it. And this one does work a little bit better to be honest. So I'm going to use this one. Next is everyone's favorite part, highlighting. So, I've been doing a mixture of highlights. So, who all remembers when I got this for Christmas last year and it was already cracked? Well, I literally have like lost the lid and that's all that's left. So, I do like this first. And this is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Radiant Lights. It's like this pinky kind of color. And I just apply that because it's a stunner. And I love this so much. So, apply that everywhere. <laughs> and then apply a little bit on my nose because I still like to glow even in the winter. So, and then what I've mainly been using when I don't want to like blind everyone that much is this e.l.f. Um, baked highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. I just kind of dust that over it. That's what it looks like. 
So next is eyebrows, but I use this from the London eyebrow pencil um, thing. So I'm just gonna basically fill in my eyebrows. Okay, so once I have them, that one can kill me. I just go back out and spool you. Wow, I'm proud of that. Okay, so once that's done, I want to go back and set them in place. So I use, so I use the um, Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara, and it just sets them in place, so they don't move throughout the day. So as everyone knows, I always use this palette in the summer because that's like all I used. But recently, I've been going back to my Lorac Pro because look at the colors. Those are so pretty and awesome for what I'm doing this summer. So, um, not gonna go in detail with like every single brush I'm using, but just the colors is what I'm focusing on. So I'm taking taupe and I'm going to be doing that as my transition color. Alright, so my eyes are really simple for the winter. So I'm going in with one more little transition color and that is mauve right here because I like the pinkiness of this color. Next I'm going in with, I had to talk about this brush, this is my favorite brush. It's the Wet n Wild, uh, what's it called? I think it's, I don't really don't know what it's called, blending crease brush. This brush is everything. Going in with Sable and um, just putting that on the outer. I'm going with a little flat brush and I'm going to very quickly put cream all over cream. That's the shade name. All over my lid. Okay, now I'm going back and taking the shade Nude, it's a, like a highlight color, and just highlighting that, the brow bone part right there. And then I'm also going to go back with cream and put it under my eyebrow right there. It just really defines it. And I'm going to be taking Sable again and putting it under my lower lash line. And I really like to smoke it out. And you won't be able to even tell. It's there in a few seconds when I put mascara on. And then the final step is to go back and blend everything. So. Sometimes I do eyeliner and sometimes I don't. And I'm going to choose to not do eyeliner today. I'm going to do mascara. I use the Maybelline Great Lash Big Mascara. So 
once the look is completed, I'm going to be setting it with the Elf Mist, Ma Magic Mist and Set setting spray. And then set it. Now we're on to lips. So, um, I haven't been doing that much for my lip. What I've been doing is putting on the Makeup Revolution and Chauffeur. And then on top, I'll do NYX Butter Lipstick in Ruby and Ruby Float. So, all right, guys. So as you can see, this is the completed makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed watching um, me do my makeup, and maybe you learned something else I don't know but um I hope you all enjoyed it and if you did give it a thumbs up and if you've never seen my face before please subscribe down below to see when I make a new video and you can also click the bell beside the subscribe button to see when I make a new video directly on your device so I hope you all are having an amazing day and I'll see you guys in my next video